Welcome back guys to the second part of our introduction. In this video I will show you how the shopping list app will look like in the end. We have here two emulators running. Let's uh, sign in on both of them. And as you can see we have here a message that says we don't have any list yet. So let's create one. Let's create a grocery list and hit create. Now it says that was created by the first user, which is this, on 3rd of February 2018. Let's go ahead and create another one. Let's say pharmacy and hit create. There are two actions here. If we long touch on the shopping list name, a dialog will come up. Now we can edit the shopping list name. Let's say new grocery and hit update. If we simply touch on the shopping list name, we enter the actual list. Here is also a message that says that we don't have any products. So let's go ahead and add one. Let's add milk and hit create. What happens if we long touch on the product? As you can see, we can edit the, the, the product or delete it. Let's edit the product and say soy milk and hit up. Now, let's delete the product, delete, product was deleted, and let's edit again. And as you can see, works perfectly fine. What happens if I simple touch the product? For a better understanding, the product list section is used to add all necessary products that you can buy. In the shopping list section, we'll add only the product that we need to buy next time we are going shopping. So, if I simple touch the product, the product goes to the product list. This is also happening if we are doing the same thing in the product list section. See, the product is now again in the shopping list section. Now, let's say we want to share this shopping list with a friend. What can we do? We can go to the options menu, hit add friend and type the email address of our friend. In this uh, case, we'll use app second user at gmail.com and hit add. Now the shopping list is shared with the second user. As you can see, the second user can also see the products and can move them between the section as well. Let's make another test. Let's say the second user has the application closed and the first user goes shopping. What happens? Let's buy the milk. And as you can see, the second user receives a notification which says first user is shopping. First user just bought milk from the new groceries list. So this is basically the functionality of our application. In the next video, I will show you how to create a database structure. So hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.